Hey everyone, welcome back to Gamestra. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to find the Banished Knight Oleg Spirit Ashes. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Now to get here, we have to go to the southwest portion of Limgrave over by the Stranded Graveyard Grace, which is the very first one that you unlock in the game. Once you get to the Grace, you're gonna turn right and see that you have three giant archways. Now if they're open, that's good. We're gonna head that direction. But if they're closed, you're gonna need two stone sword keys to get in by placing them into this imp statue. Once the keys are in, you can then move through. Now the first thing you need to know is is that everything that's on the ground in this long hallway is poison. So once we jump down, we're gonna start getting poisoned and we need to move immediately. So we're gonna jump down, land, we immediately start getting poisoned. So we're gonna sprint straight, and we're gonna take a right. And once we get out of the poison, our poison meter will stop and it will start to go back down. But you'll notice that we have a roller. So we're gonna go two columns up. We're gonna go one, two, and we're going to wait right here for the roller to come back. And when it turns around, we're going to follow it down here and we're going to go into the second archway on the right. So the roller comes up, it turns around, move up a little, and we're going to chase it. So we're going to go down. You'll see this first archway right here on my right. We're going to go past that one. And then you'll see we're coming up on the second archway and we can get in here in time. And as soon as this roller passes by, we're going to immediately go again. So we're going to go down one more archway and we're going to wait in here and we're going to fight this guy. There's going to be a guy in here and there's also going to be another guy that runs across the way, but most likely he will get run over by the roller. Now you can take your time here if you want. One thing you can do is actually jump down right here if you want to save time. So once you jump down, keep in mind the roller will go all the way around and it will follow you. So we're going to jump down right here. And we're just going to wait for a second in this this area. We're going to wait for the roller to come around. Now, this roller is very fast, so we're going to have to be quick with this one. We're going to let it go down. And as soon as it comes back up, we're going to run. So there it goes. We're going to run. We're going to go down the stairwell here and we're going to find our next archway right here on the right. You shouldn't have anything fight you in this archway. We're going to let the roller go. And once it goes back up, we're taking off again. So it's going up and we are hauling it down this way. And we're going to try to get in this column to the right. A lot of the times you have to, to roll if you want to get there, but make sure that if it does hit you, you immediately roll so that it doesn't take you out twice. You should have enough health to be able to get hit by it once. If you don't, you just have to be quick and roll down there. Uh, and then once we're down here, we're just going to continue to move down. We're going to wait for the roller to go up. We're going to go left, the only direction we can go. And we're going to go left again, and we're going to head down. Now, there's going to be another column on your right or left. It really doesn't matter which one you go in, but keep in mind, you will have to fight these guys. Whether you're here or there, they will come across. But now that we are in this column, we're going to wait for that roller to go down, which it already has. We can move another column. We've got plenty of time. And once we're in this column down here, we're going to have another guy shooting at us. It's very easy to just let him get run over. We're going to let the roller continue to go down. Once it comes back up, we're going to take off once again. And once we're down here, we're gonna take our final right, to which you should find the entrance to our boss fight. Now, what's nice about this is if you go into this boss fight and lose, you can use this stake right here to respawn so that you don't have to go through all of this nonsense again. So now we're gonna enter our boss fight and fight the boss. Now, once the boss is defeated, you will notice that it will give you a golden seed as well as the Banished Knight Oleg Spirit Ashes. So this is how to get the Banished Knight Oleg Spirit Ashes. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video.